everybody, my name is Luke. This is the Outdoor Gear Review, where today it is time for a test night episode. This is the first test night episode of the 2019 season, and we have the Sierra Designs Clear Wing 2 tent. Rain is on the way. As you can see, it's pitch black, it's about 9.30. I am going to set up this tent in the dark, and then I'm going to basically camp out in the tent and see how well it performs with strong winds and heavy rain. I will talk more about the conditions later on. Let's go ahead and set up the tent. Let's see how easy or how complex it is in the dark. Since they are calling for so much rain tonight, I am using a ground sheet. This will assist with keeping it clean, which I will appreciate tomorrow when it comes time to take this tent home to dry it off, clean it off, and stow it. Now when it comes to the setup process, there's no confusion where the poles go because everything's color coded. Attaching the poles and the body, super simple, going very quickly. What I like about this tent when it comes to the setup process is that it's very straightforward, it's very easy. It is so simple, at no point in time do you have to ask yourself if you did something incorrectly. I like that. As far as attaching the fly goes, it is nice and easy so far. All right, the fly is fully secure. Now it's time to stake it out. Now it's time for the doors. So everything's been staked out, making my final adjustments right now. Okay. So when it comes to the setup process, that really could not be any easier. It's pitch black out. With a headlamp, you can easily set up this tent. And in a hurry, you can easily set up this tent with some experience. Man, oh man. I'll tell you what, everybody. This tent is a palace. <laughs> it really is. As you can see here, I am fully sitting up. And the ceiling of the tent is not even close. There is enough room in here to easily change clothes. Do anything that you want to. It's big enough, without a doubt, for two people. Yes, you will be somewhat close side by side, but you have plenty of room to sit up. As far as the setup goes, extremely easy. Very, very easy. There's plenty of room under the vestibules. You have plenty of pockets here. That's very handy. Very good ventilation so far. We will see how it stacks up once the rain starts later on tonight. Speaking of which, it is coming in. Here's a picture of the radar. They are calling for roughly half an inch up to an inch of rain tonight. So, it is going to be very rainy indeed. Let's see, when it comes to the winds, right now they're blowing 10 miles an hour. Tonight, gusts up to 20 miles an hour. So we will see how well this tent handles all of that. Everybody, I am going to bed. It's been a long day. Been out here testing gear, shooting videos, including this one. Let's see how well the Clear Wing 2 from Sierra Designs handles mother nature, the wind, the rain, and so on. It is absolutely pouring right now, and it is really coming down. I think I even heard thunder a little while ago. So far, so good. The tent is holding up very well. It's also very windy, as you guys can hear. And again, I'm not having any issues. Let's hope that continues throughout the night. I'll be back with another update soon. Guys, good morning. When it comes to the Clear Wing 2, I have no idea why they call it the Clear Wing 2. But I do know that this tent has done a really good job. It's been very windy. The tent handled it like a champ. As you can hear, it's still raining. It's been raining pretty hard. No leaks, no issues. 
Truthfully, I do not have any complaints when it comes to this tent, other than the colors. <laughs> that, that's my only issue with this tent. I think it's going to be a pretty substantial issue, really, more than just my personal taste. A good portion of the fly is white, and already it's becoming very dirty, I mean, just from like getting it out, setting it up. I mean, some of it's brown, some of it's stained. If the entire tent was white, that would be one thing, but because it's not, yeah, I don't know. It is how it is, right? It really is. Forgetting about the colors for now, the tent has done an amazing job. It really has been. I mean, normally I find something to complain about. Maybe there's an issue with sagging material. Maybe zippers are hard to access, especially once material begins getting wet, stretching overnight. But there's nothing. I've had no issues with this tent at all. Bathtub floor, fully protected. Talking about breathability for a second here. This tent offers excellent airflow. I had very, very little condensation filled on this tent. Just a little bit on the bathtub floor next to where my feet were. That's pretty much it. That's impressive considering how wet and rainy it's been all night long. Plain and simple, everybody. I like this tent. It's a good tent. I will continue testing this out. You guys will see my ultimate review in the future. If you have any questions, make sure to email me. If you have any comments, comment down below. Share your thoughts about this tent. What do you guys think about the colors? What do you guys think about the design of this tent? The one thing I really like and appreciate about Sierra Designs, and there's multiple things to appreciate about them, is that they make really good products 99% of the time. Every once in a while they do fail. We've seen it firsthand. <laughs> Water coming through the walls in a storm, but most of the time though, they do not disappoint. With this tent here, you can see that it's a very well-made tent. For this episode of Test Night, that is it. Everybody take care, strength and honor. See you guys around.